The Happy Lobster is now at the new Urban Space Food Hall where you can enjoy everything on their menu from lobster rolls to clam chowder. Oh, sounds so good. They're mm -hmm. also offering make at home kits here in our Studio 41 kitchen. With the details, our co founders, Alex Robinson and Neil Bassett. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Thanks for Thank having you. us. We're excited to be here. Lots mm -hmm. and lots of lobster over there. Happy lobster. I would think that lobsters aren't so happy because we're eating them. <laughs> but this lobster is making you happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. That's how it works. <laughs> happy okay. customer. All but right. So nobody guys, would get it if we did that. You <laughs> started out as a food truck. Yeah. And you got so popular, you got invited to come to the urban um, space? Yes. So um, it was really a, a great fit for us because if anyone who's been outside today yes, understands yes. that not every day in Chicago is a great day to run a food truck. Uh -huh. So Urban Space allows us to serve our customer base in the loop, which is really the customer base we built up as a food truck, uh, but not really be at the mercy of uh, terrible temperatures. Mm -hmm. And I like that you guys are doing this take-home box so people could really do it themselves. Is that So we're making those today? Yeah, we're going to, um, I'm going to make uh, our signature, the Happy Life. Lobster, which is uh, inspired by a traditional lobster roll, but one big difference is that we use a, a burger bun instead of the oh, typical split top hot dog bun. It's a bun. little easier to eat, I would think. And it allows you to put a little more lobster on the bun. Oh, there you go. So, I'm not going to um, argue with you again about no. that. And then uh, Neil's putting together our uh, our malt vinegar slaw, which comes with everything. Mm -hmm. um, it's a nice, uh, nice crunchy sidekick to it. So, Well, it seems like you don't have much on the table. It doesn't seem like it's that difficult to make. No, it's beautifully simple. Simple. Okay. okay. So, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the pan with a little bit of clarified butter. Mm. Oh, yum. And uh, the studio smells like butter right yeah, now, which is like the it best smell so in delicious. the world, right? Yeah. And so, are those just regular buns or are they brioche buns? They're brioche oh, and they're okay. fresh baked. And a uh, little secret to making a great sandwich is fresh baked bread will turn any sandwich Anything. you have into like a home run, right? Because at the same time, it'll ruin it if it's bad. Correct. Yes. Right. And I'm also doing kind of like a wax on, wax off motion okay. here on the pan. That kind of allows you to spread the butter out across the inside of the bun so that it gets a nice brown toast all the way across and you get that buttery crunch yeah. every bite of the sandwich. So if you're making a sandwich at home, sliced bread or a round bun, if you do that, you get that. That's the key to that brown toast all the way across. I do this with the grilled cheese. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Very so our important. executive producer is asking, what clarified butter? So I know what it is. I do too. But because he wants to know. Yeah. Clarified butter um, actually has all the milk solid skimmed out of it. So if you have uh, a dairy intolerance, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say allergy, but if you have dairy intolerance, this is 99.9% .9 dairy free. Yeah. So it also has a super high smoke point, which means you can cook with it or toast with it and it's not going to burn. Yes. Which is kind of what we're going for. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, look at that, it's so pearly. Yeah, it is. I know, right? Very I'm glad perfect. it came out. I figured since I was on TV that it would probably <laughs> burn or not work. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's a good trick. Okay. And so after I have this bun, I'm going to take some of this beautiful Maine lobster right mm -hmm. here, which we get sent to us from Maine. Amazing. And we're going to layer this sandwich with that. And then we're going to hit it with some more clarified butter because you cannot have enough because of that not? when you're having lobster. Yum. Yeah, I get it. Now, you know what? I think this one actually needs an extra piece. Oh, of course, course. it does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the lobster roll is really popular on the East Coast, not so much in our area. You know, that's really what we were going for. Um, I, I, my family's been in the seafood business for almost my entire life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so I spent a lot of time on the East Coast, fell in love with the lobster roll, and it just didn't seem as popular in Chicago. I didn't understand why. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they are darn good. So I had an idea for a uh, lobster food truck, and uh, actually when I was working in New York, and um, I had a particularly bad day at work and went home and wrote a business plan, uh, pitched it to, uh, to Neil and our other partner, Tyler, and, and here you are. And here we are. All right, okay. we only got about a minute left, Neil, so you wanna get on that slaw? Yeah, so this is our malt vinegar slaw. Uh, it starts with a uh, shredded red cabbage, malt vinegar. What I like to do here is give it a mix, get it all nice and coated up. Red onion, shredded carrots, Mayo. Ooh, lots and Dijon of mayo. mustard. <laughs> I can bathe in mayo. I love it. And yes. Dijon mustard. Uh, and from there, you're going to mix it up. This goes really well with any seafood. Uh, 
you could put it on fish tacos. Uh, I'm thinking warm thoughts, so you can bring this kind of thing to a barbecue. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. Put it with some chicken, but it's super easy. Uh, you want for best results to let this sit in the fridge for a day, uh, but if not, after a couple hours, uh, it'll start to kind of extract some of those flavors out. It'll start to start to look good. So for is you. this strictly a topping, or is it an actual salad that you can just sit there and eat? We serve it uh, on the side, so we kind of have it as a side, sort of like a salad in a way. Uh, but it is good if you want to top it on. I usually love putting on white fish, but yeah. you can put it right on top. Um, it's yeah. really good on anything. It's yeah. really good yeah. on anything. <laughs> Uh, but it's it's a great side item for really anything. Because it uh, cuts the richness of the lobster too. It does. In that dish, it does. Which is great. Exactly. Which is yeah. great. Yeah. All right. So you also have clam chowder. Tell yep. us about what else is on the menu at the Happy Lobster. So yeah, we also have uh, clam chowder. We have king crab bisque. So it's to warm you on a Ooh, day like today. Yeah. Um, we have uh, the angry lobster, which is kind oh. of our ode to Chicago. It's topped with Chicago's favorite condiment, jardinera. Jardinera. So it has a nice little yeah. kick to it. We have lobster grilled cheese, uh, lobster mac and cheese, lobster um, cheese. and whoopie pies mm. for dessert, which is like two pieces of cake with a vanilla frosting in the middle. Can't go wrong with Can't that. Can't go wrong, oh, no. Fantastic, some more pictures on the screen right yeah. there. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna come over there and grab it in just a second because I want to try it for sure. Yeah. Uh, we'll make sure we get all the information up on the screen at the new space at the Urban food, urban Space Food Hall. I don't know why I forgot that. The Happy Lobster, you can see your uh, social media handles there and the webpage as well. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you Thank so much. You. Yeah. Super fun.